Okay, hello and welcome back to Battlefield 1 Beta. This is, yeah, the fourth out of five videos that I'll be posting up about uh, the game. And, um, yeah, this is the other uh, Rush gameplay that I got. I played where we actually managed to hold off and I believe we won at the end. Let me just double check by jumping to the end. Yeah, we actually did win. And it was, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm just looking out through the loadouts and stuff, maybe. I'm, I, it's interesting this one uses, um, there's an unlock system where, yeah, you get levels and you unlock w uh, weapons and you go to level up, you level up the actual individual classes too by getting kills with, uh, getting points, that's maybe probably while playing as the classes. And, but every time you level up your account, essentially, or, instead in, uh, of your class it uh, it gives you what they call it there's like this currency they put in called war bonds which is yeah you know, it's just like a semi currency you need to actually purchase the unlocks because it's, it's, it's such a weird tiered system that's reminiscent of I guess Call of Duty Black Ops to a degree but it's also fairly annoying it's an extra tacked on stupid nonsense thing where yeah you can get a you unlock stuff with levels and of both accounts and character and then you have to have use the war bonds to actually open and purchase the unlocks which is uh oh god yeah such a stupid dumb two tiered system and then uh, well, another interesting thing i found out about the rush mode is the defending team can actually use the uh, the objectives themselves. They can call out their uh, sent coordinates sent to artillery to bomb the uh, or to shell the actual enemy. Uh, but I think it randomly happens across the map. Uh, spotted enemies probably on the map on on yeah on the map get actually shelled and stuff like that. Although I've never, I don't think I've ever seen it in use. <laughs> so, bleh. it's a bit, I don't know, well, at least it looks like something. In it. Uh, that's the thing, the flamethrower characters is apparently in the game. In, or in this um, uh, beta. But I, I think I've only seen him twice and he didn't kill me either time and I didn't kill him either time. He just magically disappeared and ran off us, some type of thing. Um, just fairly annoying. Apparently, also there was yeah, the Panzer Soldat or the armored, yeah, armor hunter or whatever. He's, yeah, the, his tank hunter characters and is also in, and then the yeah, I don't know. What, I guess you could call him Panzer Soldat, but Sentry, I think he was actually referred to as, which is a weird name, but it's a guy in armor with the uh, big MG08 machine gun. And I, I haven't seen him either. I guess guess they're in it, or maybe they're not. Who knows? Uh, probably kill streaks, which is bullshit to me. I uh, hope they're not. Because the further away this gets from Call of Duty, the better. In my all due respects. So. Uh, but yeah, no, this this was a pretty good gameplay. And lots of rushing around, lots of me actually trying to play the objectives and defend the objectives. And eventually I got into the mindset of what I'm supposed to fucking do to defend these, uh, the points, and, uh, it always really fucking annoys me when, yeah, I always happen to have the wrong, or be in the wrong place at the wrong time, or have the wrong weapon now, it's a thing when, uh, it just, or be the wrong class, that's another thing that always fucking happens to me, and I hate it, I hate it, hate it, hate it, but I think this map is actually the one where I get a couple of tank kills using the mines, but in a really haphazard fashion that kills me too. But, yeah, at least it stems, or, <coughs> excuse me, it uh, delays the assault or the, the enemy, en enemy team's ability to just roll over us. And, uh, yeah, it's right here. And, pull it out. Nope. Put the uh, thing first. <laughs> uh, accident. Yeah, I certainly did have an accident there. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's this. It's pretty fun when you actually have stuff unlocked and 
Although the other thing I just realized now is maybe it is a little bit more battlefronty and that it's been stripped down because I don't know if any of these guns are going to have mods on them. Like, well, there's, there's, there's different variants of the guns, which I guess is the amount of modification to the guns. There's like, yeah, this this one specifically, I, well, I don't know if there's any kind of variants, but the one before it, which was the MP-18, uh, the German um, submachine gun, that there were, there was a trench version which had a short, shortened barrel and a bayonet. Then there's also an artillery version which has a bit of a lengthened barrel and no bayonet. And um, yeah, the stats change a little bit, but there's no there's no real customization overall. And I guess maybe maybe that was part and parcel because you don't there wasn't a whole lot of that during World War One. I. I mean, you, you you don't really get scopes at them and some of the sniper rifles, I guess, and they were limited at best. None of the standard infantry who should have. Uh, bolt action rifles ever got any more modding and stuff I got on them. I'm just, yeah, I don't know about like Stoss Troopen with uh, MP 18s and stuff like that, if, if there were any really modified versions. But then there, there were also cases where soldiers uh, now bought their own guns because they felt the one supplied to them were in insufficient. I think there was actually, an, or there was there was an insufficient amount to go around, so they did actually have to buy their own guns. Um, and that, yeah, there could be a bit of customization there. But, uh, it's, it would just be interesting. It's interesting in a way to see the ver uh, variety of weird guns like this one, for interesting instance. I believe that was a French um, submachine gun, or it's a. It's just a semi-automatic rifle that's been modded to be full auto and it has an extended clip. I think that's what it actually might be in reality. And here I actually... Oh, no, it's already been used up so I run over to the other one or try to run over the other one, I guess. I think I got killed here somewhere. But no, um, it's interesting to see the uh, types of guns that are in the game. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're fairly interesting. Funny stuff. Um, okay, now I'm starting to ramble. Yeah, there we go. I actually called down artillery, and I don't know where it goes or where it comes from. Maybe these action no, these cannons aren't actually firing. Are they? No, they got draping over them. It comes from off off map anyway. The artillery. Um, yeah, that's one other thing that got me. The fucking waiting times for stuff to. Yeah, the stuff that just spawn or yeah there were delayed waiting times right just yeah they just get you so easy and then the thing rolls down there oh, that pissed me off so much yeah uh, they should have had oh maybe it's thing but there is an unlockable rifle anti-tank rifle I think it's different to the one that uh, you can pick out out of the box which yeah, I'm looking for here but it's further up I believe and tank and yeah, shooting a tank with a SMG like this one basically is useless. Um, and here yeah, I run up and actually set mine and I kill myself again the second way, but I destroyed the tank at the same time. So win loss eh, whatever. And then, yeah, so the spawn system is, is not good, I must say. It's like I, I'm constantly clicking and trying to get it to work, but that's potentially because of the lag from the local African servers. Um, might be different on the full release. But, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's kind of fun when <laughs> things actually go your way. And it'll be interesting to see how the full game pans out. Though, like... Most other things I probably will not be purchasing. I, no, I will definitely not be purchasing this at launch because I'm always the kind of wait for it to go on sale type of person. I want to basically never. I basically try to, uh, to buy everything when it's on sale. Only, only, only when it's on sale. So, um, yeah, okay. I'll see you in the next and final video.
Onlarınkilerden biri. objective button. <laughs> Enemy coordinates have been sent to our artillery. to our artillery. Bomba atıyorum. Kafanıza dikkat eyleyin. Bomba fırlatıyorum. Retreat now. Thank you. 
The enemy has armed objective butter. We have defused objective butter. <laughs> We have defused objective by We have to fuse the objective butter. Coordinates have been sent. Coordinates have been sent to our artillery. Coordinates have been sent to our artillery. Stop, stop, stop. 
Dikkat! Bomba atıyorum! Coordinates have been sent to our artillery. 